Hey, in case you were planning on some new projects and events or anything really for 2014, I thought you might uh, make use of mind mapping software. More specifically, this is a program called XMind. There's a free version and there's pro versions and so on. I, I believe you can do what I'm about to show you in the free version. Uh, the big difference with the pro version, I think, is the export capability, like being able to put things out as PDFs. But I wanted to show you this. A lot of things that I like to do, I think of in terms of, um, sorry, I'm going to turn off these notifications here. Uh, I like to think of in terms of, um, you know, spreadsheets. And, you know, with mind mapping software, you're typically just adding, you know, subtopics and then branching things off of them. And it, and it you know, you can lay them out in circles or, or trees or whatever. And that's cool and everything, but sometimes I, that just doesn't work for me. The other thing is that oftentimes you want to take a, a mind map of some sort and connect it to other things that you're doing. Well, in um, XMind, you can insert uh, sheets, kind of like you can in, in any spreadsheet program. So you have sheet one, sheet two, and you can actually link them together. So let me show you how to do something in sort of a um, spreadsheet format. So you just go to the properties of the... Of the um, of the sorry the mind map pick your central topic in this case and then you change it to matrix and then that allows you to basically create a bunch of subtopics um, laid out in a, in a more linear fashion and then really to add anything below that you just highlight it and hit your tab button and it will just add things below there so um, it makes it kind of easy to uh, build on any ideas or thoughts that you have. The other thing that you can do, obviously, is you can add notes to them. And so when you actually go into the print mode um, of your of your mind map and you print preview it, it'll actually lay it out as a document almost. So let's just say that for here you're going to say, this is my, you know, how I'm going to make $100,000 more this year. So I'll call this my 100K project. And then you're going to put things like, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to you know, design um, the project. I'm going to build a plan. Then I'm going to implement, you know, so all the things I need to do to execute that plan. And then what I'm going to do to measure my results. And then um, how I'm going to improve upon those results. Now you could, now in your implementation, what you could do is you could actually link this you know to our other sheet so we have this other sheet we um, called it uh, sheet 2 so we link it to sheet 2 now over here on sheet 2 this is our implementation plan right so these are all the things that we have to do to actually get this thing done so now we could just create a whole bunch of subtasks in there now if you have the pro version you can also actually assign this to people and uh, it'll also give you the ability to do, um, uh, what do they call it, a Gantt chart, so a timeline. So if you put specific dates and things like that attached to these items, so you can get kind of geeky. But really, at, at a fundamental level, what I like to do is just have these, these different sheets. So I would call this my pro, uh, 100K project, right? And then I call this my um, task list. And then you might have another sheet. I'll insert a new sheet in here. We're going to call this my, you know, resources. So you might actually have people's names or websites or even logins to different different things. Now, if you're if you're um, you know outsourcing any of these tasks or building upon this plan in some other way, you have external resources. Um, those links can be to uh, external websites, for example. So if I had a subtopic here, you know, you could link this to an actual project software. So like, you know, maybe it's Trello, which is a free uh, to-do list item and project planning tool. Uh, you can also link, you know, if you need a, a um, authenticate or um, login program, so you're going to share stuff. So I use LastPass, and you could link this to a uh, your LastPass account and give this to other people to use. Now LastPass has a cool feature that allows you to share passwords with your subcontractors and friends without them actually seeing the password. All they have to do is install LastPass. So you can really use this to build out a great project, integrate this thing 
with something like Evernote, um, Google Docs. You can export these. Now with the Pro Edition, you can export this stuff as a spreadsheet. You can export it as a PDF file. You can export it as a mind map. So we can export this to Microsoft Excel. We can even make this into a PowerPoint presentation. Um, what I often do is I'll export it into a PDF or even an image and share it that way. And then I'll make a video, a screencast like, like I'm doing right now to explain different parts of this. Now if you're using something like uh, Jing Project, uh, J-I-N-G Project.com, it's free or, or a screener, you can link these topics to the videos uh, that explain this. You can also add different, um, now let me just see if I can do this without messing it up here. You can also add, we have to do a view here, we can add styles. So we can, not style, sorry. I want themes. No, I don't want themes. Maybe it is styles. No, it's not styles. I'm trying to add the little widgets. Here's our Gantt chart that I was telling you about. So you can actually add timelines to these things. You just have to make sure you add dates to it. What I'm looking for are the uh, markers. That's it. So the markers. So you can add priorities to different things. You know, so I could just make that a priority one topic. I can even add task progress stuff. A lot of the task progress stuff actually ties into the Gantt chart uh, components. And if you have these, you know, linked um, sheets in here, the Gantt chart can actually create dependencies and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, and then you can, of course, assign, as I was saying before, you could assign these tasks to other people. But for me, just brainstorming and figuring out, you know, these are all the different things I got to do. You know, first I've got to create the design, and then I've got to put together my plan. And then I've got to put together my actual implementation process to make sure that it happens. And then I'm going to measure results. So maybe I'm going to use Google Analytics or I'm looking at accounting stuff. And then I want to, you know, nothing when you implement it initially is going to be perfect right away. So then you're going to work on your improvement process. And, um, you know, you can do this with a number of your projects and lay them out logically and, and make it easier to work with. So I hope you find this useful. This is XMind. X M I N D. It's uh, it's freely available. It's also open source. This is the pro version that allows you to do some different things like the Gantt charts and export uh, to different file formats. But the basic one works really well for just thinking through processes. I know you're in that mode because it's the new year, and, and hopefully you find this useful. And look forward to your comments on this. So thanks.